Hey, what's up Linda users, I am Jonathan and in today's video I will show you how you can get the best experience while working in Blender just by using a simple script. If you're anything like me, you sometimes end up with a Blender project that looks like that. Just too many windows for different tasks and a way too small window for, for example, the viewport and proper modeling. So this is where the script comes in handy. It's entirely based on the idea of floating windows in Blender and it essentially lets you open more windows which you can move aside to your second screen close or move in the background so you can reuse them later but without them taking away space on your screen you can either follow along with this tutorial and program your own little script or add-on or just stick till the end where i will show you where you can get my own free add-on and how to use it and get results like this one where you can just open another window and play around with it. And by the way, if you enjoy my content, then please consider subscribing because I upload a new video about Blender every Saturday. And with all that said and done, let's get straight into the video. The entire script is basically based on one code line, which lets us duplicate our current area. So to do this, we will have to write bpy.ops.screen.area underscore doubly and then in the brackets behind this, we have to write an invoke default. If we would now run this code, we will see that it opens another window with just exactly the same area as before. This is great and all, and of course also usable, but um, I want to be able to change the area I will open. So to do this, we will first have to get the current area, which is in our case right now, the text editor, then save this area in a variable. After that, change our current area into the area we want to duplicate duplicate this area and change the old area back to, in our case, the text editor. To do this, we will have to first get our area type. To do this, we will create a variable called area and assign bpy.context.area. If we would print this for debugging reasons and see what this gives, what results this gives us, we can see after we hit run script that, of course, nothing has changed but in the system console, we get this output. This right now doesn't say much and is for me completely useless because we want to be able to get an output called text editor. To get this, we will have to create another variable. In my case, I just call it T. Now we can get our area, our area variable and get the type. The type in our case would of course be text editor. Now to change our current area, we will have to write area.type again, but now change it to view underscore 3D, just as an example. If I would now just comment this line of code out so it doesn't create a duplicate window and save, of course, save this file and run the script, we can see that it changes our current area to the 3D viewport. So I'm just going to go back into the text editor. And if I would now go ahead and re-enable this line of code, the 3D viewport gets duplicated. But of course we want to keep our area in the background with which we started with. So just again change back into the text editor and then type again in area.type equals and now t because um, in the variable t we saved our current area type previously. So if we now run the script we can see that it opens the 3D view but it also keeps our text editor in the background. To get all the different areas, we can just misspell an area right here, and this should give us an error, but if we go into the system console, we can see that it lists all the areas right here. This essentially lets us open every area we want. For example, let's just copy one out, the image editor. You can just select it and copy it with Ctrl C, and paste it in here and if I click run script we can see that the image editor gets opened. This of course now opens a lot of possibilities for us Blender users to for example just create an add-on but of course creating an add-on takes a lot of time so this is why I made one for you which you can just download on my Gumroad page for free so you don't have to make one yourself. This add-on essentially allows you to open every window in Blender you want as a second window and also adds some more components. For example, if we now press Ctrl, Alt and F, which is the shortcut for the spy menu, we can either open the current area 
in a second window, which doesn't change anything, it's just the first command line which I showed you at the beginning. Of course, there's every window you can find in Blender, for example, the timeline or other ones. But there's one key thing that is really handy, but it's sadly not integrated into Blender, which is to keep these windows on top. So if you select this timeline and press on the main Blender window, we can see that it moves into the background. But what if we want to work in the main window and still keep, for example, the timeline on top of this window? For this, I added a second option right on the bottom right here, which is always open new windows on top. To enable this option, you will first have to press open always on top, which is an exe file, but I won't deliver it with the add-on, so if you press on it the first time, you will have to install it. There will be the instructions right here, but because I have already installed this exe file, I can just press execute, and after a short while, we can see that the exe file is opened on the bottom right here. Now we can enable always open new windows on top. And if I would now open, for example, the 3D view, we can see that this window will always stay on the top. So if I press back into the Blender main window, this window will stay on the top right here. And of course, because it's the same project, everything is in sync. So if I edit this cube right here, also the cube in this window gets edited. And yes, this is basically it. This is how you can use my add-on or reproduce this add-on for yourself in Blender and really just supercharge your Blender UI and get a better and nicer workflow in Blender. I can, for example, right now just take this window and move it to my second screen, which you can, of course, not see right now. But yeah, this is really handy and I hope it helps you too. And if you like this video, then please consider liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. This would really help me out. And with all that out of the way, we will see us next Saturday in the next video. And until then, bye.